If you're a dog owner, you know that housebreaking your pup can be one of the most challenging aspects of pet ownership. Whether you've just brought a new puppy home, or you're dealing with an older dog that hasn't quite figured it out yet, the frustration and mess can be overwhelming. But don't worry, welcome to Keeping Pet YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to give you some tips on how to deal with a dog that is not housebroken. It's important to remember that housebreaking takes time, patience, and consistency. You may encounter some setbacks along the way, but with the right approach, you can help your furry friend learn good bathroom habits. From setting up a routine to addressing accidents, we've got you covered with some helpful tips and tricks. So, if you're tired of constantly cleaning up messes and dealing with a dog that just won't listen, stick around. We're going to help you take the first steps toward a well-behaved and potty-trained pooch. Number 10. Establish a routine. One of the most important things to do when housebreaking a dog is to establish a routine. Feed your dog at the same time every day and take them outside to go to the bathroom immediately after eating, waking up, and playing. This will help your dog get into a regular bathroom schedule and reduce the chances of accidents indoors. Number 9. Use positive reinforcement. When your dog goes to the bathroom outside, reward them with praise, treats, and affection. Positive reinforcement is one of the most effective ways to train your dog, and it will encourage them to continue going outside to go to the bathroom. Avoid punishing or scolding your dog for accidents indoors, as this can make them afraid to go to the bathroom in front of you. Number 8. Use crate training. Crate training can be a great tool for housebreaking a dog. Dogs naturally avoid going to the bathroom where they sleep. So keeping your dog in a crate when you can supervise them will encourage them to hold their bladder until you take them outside. Make sure the crate is big enough for your dog to stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably. Number 7. Increase supervision. If your dog is not housebroken, it's important to keep a close eye on them at all times. This means keeping them in a room with you, using baby gates to block off certain areas of the house, or using a leash to keep them by your side. The more you supervise your dog, the easier it will be to catch them before they have an accident indoors. Number 6. Create a designated bathroom area. Designate a specific area outside for your dog to go to the bathroom and take them to this spot every time you take them outside. This will help your dog associate this area with going to the bathroom and encourage them to go quickly. Make sure to clean up after your dog to keep the area clean and free from odor. Number 5. Monitor water intake. Monitoring your dog's water intake can help you predict when they need to go outside. Avoid giving your dog access to water for at least an hour before bedtime and take them outside before you go to sleep. If your dog drinks a lot of water, take them outside more frequently throughout the day. Number 4. Use potty pads. Potty pads can be a useful tool for housebreaking a dog, especially if you live in an apartment or have limited outdoor space. Place the potty pads in a designated area of the house and take your dog to the pads when it's time to go to the bathroom. Gradually move the pads closer to the door and eventually outside to encourage your dog to go outside. Number 3. Clean accidents thoroughly. Accidents are bound to happen when housebreaking a dog, but it's important to clean them up thoroughly to prevent your dog from going to the bathroom in the same spot again. Use an enzymatic cleaner to break down the odor and remove any traces of your inner feces. Number 2. Be patient. Housebreaking a dog can take time, and it's important to be patient and consistent with your training. Remember that accidents are a normal part of the process, and avoid getting frustrated or angry with your dog. Stay positive and keep reinforcing good behavior with rewards and praise. Number 1. Seek professional help if needed. If your dog is not responding to housebreaking training, or you feel like you need some extra guidance, don't hesitate to seek professional help. A qualified dog trainer can provide one-on-one -on -one instruction and help you and your dog work through any issues or challenges. Bonus tip, consistency is key. One of the most important things to remember when housebreaking your dog is consistency. Stick to a regular feeding schedule and take your dog outside to the same spot every time they need to go. Praise and reward them when they go outside and do not punish them for accidents inside the house. With time and consistency, your dog will learn the right behavior and become fully housebroken. So, that's it for today's video on how to deal with a dog that is not housebroken. If you have any other tips or tricks that have worked for you in the past, please share them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more pet-related content. Dealing with a dog that is not housebroken can be a challenging task, but with patience 
consistency, and the right approach. You can make a lot of progress. Remember to use positive reinforcement, avoid punishment, and be consistent with your training. Start by identifying the cause of the behavior, establish a routine, and use crate training to prevent accidents. Remember, it's essential to be patient with your dog and understand that housebreaking is a process that takes time. With a little effort and persistence, your dog will eventually learn to be housebroken.